हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर क्वांटम स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड व्हाई द क्लासिकल थ्योरी फेल्ड व्हाट वर द मेजर ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ मैक्सिमल बोल्टमैन स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड हाउ इट ऑल गिव राइज टू क्वांटम स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड द टू मेजर पोर्शंस ऑफ क्वांटम स्टैटिस्टिक्स आर Fermi Dirac distribution and Bose-Einstein statistics. So, uh, please subscribe to the channel before continuing to hear the lecture series. Let us continue the Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics. It failed to explain photoelectric effect, black body radiation, etc. So, these shortcomings of Maxwell-Boltzmann were removed by Fermi Dirac statistics and Bose-Einstein statistics that are also known as the quantum statistics. Now, the basic assumptions of Fermi Dirac statistics are it is applicable for identical and indistinguishable particles total energy and total number of particles of the entire system is constant spin of the particles should be half integral that is half planck's constant 3 by 2 h bar etc the particles must obey pauli's exclusion principle all particles which are going to obey the fermi dirac statistics are known as fermions example electron proton neutron etc so you can now the very famous question which comes in fermi dirac is what are fermions give examples of same derive an expression for fermi dirac statistics and with a diagram show the variation of energy with number of particles so these important questions we are going to cover quickly so for deriving an expression for fermi dirac distribution function how will we proceed we will consider a system which consists of n indistinguishable particles and these particles will be divided into quantum groups or levels such that there are n1 n2 till ni number of particles in groups having energies epsilon 1 epsilon 2 etc and gi be denoting the degeneracy or the number of sub level of the ith level now in order to find the fermi dirac distribution function we should once again remember that they are following the pauli's principle total number of particles sum and total energy is a constant and from pauli's principle no cell can occupy more than one particle therefore among gi cells only ni cells will be occupied by one particle each and the remaining gi minus ni cells are going to be empty this way we will now apply permutation formula very simple and say that the number of distinguishable arrangements of the ni particles in gi cells will be the gi factorial upon ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial from the formula considering all available quantum groups with ni particles in first group of energy epsilon 1 n2 particles in Uh, second group of energy epsilon 2 etc the total eigen state for the whole system will be given by this symbol is known as product that is now we are going to take it for the total system gi factorial upon ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial now in accordance with postulate of equal a prior probability of states what does this mean this is the first postulate of statistical mechanics which is also says saying that if the micro states have the same energy volume and number of particles then they occur with equal frequency in the ensemble so the probability system occurring for a total will be equal to product in a gi factorial upon 
एन आई फैक्टोरियल इंटू जी आई माइनस एन आई फैक्टोरियल इंटू कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ द फर्मी डायरेक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉ कैन बी ओबेन्ड बाय द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन वॉट विल वी डू वी विल टेक लॉग ऑन बोथ द साइड एंड आफ्टर दैट अप्लाई स्टर्लिंग फॉर्मूला विच स्टेट दैट वेन एन इज वेरी लार्ज देन लॉग एन फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू एन log n minus 1 so applying this formula we get the uh, the formula for the most probable distribution w equal to w maxima that is a statistical interpretation of the entropy is related to uncertainty of knowledge of the system so del log w maxima equal to 0 and then two subsidiary conditions we also applied in maxwell boltzmann one was that the total number of particles in the system will stay constant and the total energy will stay constant so we will put these two conditions there apply lagrangian method of undetermined multipliers which is basically a technique for finding a maximum or minimum of a function subject to a constraint of the form that g x y z equals to 0 so once we do this we get the equation in the form log ni upon gi minus ni plus alpha plus beta epsilon i alpha and beta we have multiplied those equations and then we set the terms and we get ni is equal to gi upon e to the power of eps, uh, alpha plus beta epsilon i plus 1 in maxwell boltzmann that plus 1 was not there so this is known as fermi dirac distribution law so this equation represents the most probable distribution of particles among various energy levels for a system which is obeying fermi dirac statistics so once again fermi dirac statistics applies to fermions it comes under quantum statistics particles should have half integer spin particles should be obeying pauli's exclusion principle and the distribution formula is f e equal to 1 upon e to the power of e minus e f divided by k t where k is boltzmann function now if we plot a graph again we see from the formula this was the maxwell graph now here in the fermi dirac distribution function the denominator and numerator again it is an exponential graph which we obtain so quickly fermi dirac statistics is under quantum statistics it was used to overcome the many difficulties that had been placed in maxwell boltzmann statistics thank you